everybody, it's Crazy Bangle Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be watching the fourth episode of Hawkeye, um, Partners, Am I Right? Now, I'm a little late to this reaction because my sister came over very last minute and we had dinner and had a really good time. Um, and I'm so excited to delve into this episode because what an episode last week's was. That was incredible. Absolutely enjoyed it. And a lot of people are very hyped at the moment because of the possibility of a certain kingpin coming back. And also... Because it was said by Kevin Feige himself that Charlie Cox is the official daredevil of the MCU. And so, since that's been confirmed, it obviously means that Kingpin is obviously a confirmation that he's part of the MCU as well. So, it's just the biggest, like, hell yes for daredevil fans, I think, in the past few weeks. Um, I have heard that there is a possibility of Kingpin, Kingpin, sorry coming up in this episode, but I'm not having high hopes just because, like, you know, I'm, like, I would be surprised if he did suddenly appear in this one. Like, I feel like it's going to be either next episode or the episode after, um, especially because next week Spider-Man's coming out, so I'm guessing it's going to be then. For now, let's not talk about that. I'm excited to dive into this episode, so let's just get straight into it. Before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Oh yeah. You're saving the world. Don't listen. I would like my daughter to start telling me the truth. I logged into your account because I needed information on an actual case with actual people who are in actual danger. So Kate is helping you with an Avengers level threat? <laughs> but you are which is pretty good at all this. Natasha Romanoff was pretty damn good at it, wasn't she? Oh my god! Always enough to keep you alive. Bitch! Excuse me! I've lost people before. I know in your line of work, you have to. Nah, shit, dude. You literally just brought up his best friend. Bitch! I'm sorry! <laughs> What the hell? Oh, dude, I can't stand her. I honestly can't stand her. I really like the actress Vera. She's incredible. I love her, but the character... Oh, dude. How dare she? I don't know. Like, I feel so, like, hurt. Because, like, Natasha, like... Uh, like, the way she said it to, like, Natasha Romanoff. Like, that makes me so mad, but, you know. Can he keep her safe? Oh, yes, he grabbed it. Could you call me back, please? It's urgent. Who's she calling? Oh, you making my heart grow older. <laughs> I think Kate's just happy to see her mother happy, which is good. And it's all hurt. <laughs> it's all hurting. Figure in the meantime, we could celebrate. It's a uh, movie marathon night, right? Check this out. Oh. That's That's so sweet of her. Did a little digging. Turns out Sloan's a show company. Laundry's money for the tracksuits. And Jack Duquesne is the CEO. You sure? Damn, so he is laundering money towards Kingpin. Interesting. Oh, this is so wholesome. I love this. Just, she's trying to make it, like, you know, festive for him as well. Because he's missing out with his family. So she's like, you know, enjoy it here while it lasts. Sure. It, it's not a good story. Oh. Okay. This is about Natasha. About the time I met someone. Natasha. I was sent to take her out. <gasps> Oh, Clint. Oh my god, he's like looking for a way out. Oh my god, the music. That's the... I love that because, you know, we've never had... Well, I mean, this hasn't been a chance until now, but like, I love that they're delving into, like, how he's struggling to even talk about Natasha. Because again, I think a lot of people 
thought that they were going to be like a romantic couple because obviously there are different iterations of them sort of being a couple but I always prefer them as best friends in either in the comics or even in the Avengers I remember when the first Avengers film came out you could see Jeremy and the um I was about to say Scar um <laughs> Natasha but Scarlet had great chemistry but I think it worked better as best friends especially in Age of Ultron we saw how much they lent on each other and how much she knew about him that nobody else knew like he trusted her with like the privacy of his family and you know she knew that the wife was pregnant and you know etc etc like oh even in Endgame like it was amazing like how Natasha went to look for him and oh, I love that moment in the rain where she says, like, you know, like, I'm here and I can't remember exactly what she said, but then she takes his hand and then he grips it and it's like, oh, like, yes, Clint. I miss, like, Natasha. I won't lie. I know a lot of people, like, have mixed feelings about Natasha Romanoff and stuff like that, but I loved her and I, it's a shame she's not here. But yeah, let's continue. You lost your family in Oh, Clint. It's you, isn't it? <gasps> yeah, girl. Just in a terrible way. <gasps> Natasha! Oh, I did not expect that. Damn, dude. Oh, she gone. <laughs> All righty -o. Behind you, I think. I don't know. I like strong to touch the wall. Ah, I'm filming, ma. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> Get out of here. Go, go, go. Nobody is taking notes on your family. What? Clint Barton, wife, Laura, daughter, Lila, age 14, son, Cooper, age 16, son, Nate. Oh, it's a silent alarm for people that can't hear. Oh. It was Maya's apartment. Shit. Clint, what's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Wait, who's with Clint? Oh! Oh my god, run! <gasps> oh, Jesus! Maya! Jesus. Oh, wait! Is that who I think it is? Oh my god, wait. Yes! Oh my god, it is! Oh, it's Yelena! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Oh, good Maya, run. In a way, I feel bad for Maya, so just go. <laughs> to be here. I understand the risk. I understand all of that. I'm not going to do it. Do you hear me? No, Clint! Oh my god, dude. Wow. What an episode. That was. That was obviously not as high intensity as last episode, but this was also just as good. I love the investigating part of it all, and I know that Clint was a little bit annoyed that she wouldn't got help from the LARPers, like the way that she did, instead of just going and getting the equipment herself. Um, but that was so good, and I love, oh my god, the parallels 
to so much PTSD of Clint's life in this episode was just so good to unpack. Especially that whole last part of the episode was great. Um, I love, oh my god, Yelena. Like, I, for a second I was like, is that her or is it somebody else? But then immediately when you see these, then it's like, oh shit, that is Yelena. And I knew she was going to be in the, in the show, but I thought, like, it'll be next episode. But to have her here now... <gasps> Liz, I can't wait to see her in the next episode. I'm guessing we're going to see her again because obviously she's been hired. And this is, I'm guessing this is who the mother, Kate's mother called. Um, So yeah, she's obviously hired her because she's got Mueller. So she's got um the, the dollars to buy an assassin and get an assassin to do her dirty work. Um, Oh, dude. Ugh. No, but the fact, why would she do that though? Like... I don't like that she did that to Clint. That's that's horrible. God, dude. The parallels in that last part, especially when... And just the just the idea of her falling and just... It's like, oh my god, Natasha. But also that moment where she fell and he's there holding his hand out exactly how he did to Natasha and then he realizes she's okay. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. And Maya coming in there too, like a boss and trying to fight. And then she was like, yeah, nah, I'm not getting involved. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even though the fact that that was her apartment with the watch and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, God. It was just the... I love that last part of the episode. It was very high intensity, very good. And the action was great. And I, I do love the rest of the episode, too. Especially exploring um, Clint's past and even the PTSD he suffers. Not only from Natasha's death, but even from all that he's done as the Ronin. Like, he knows what he did was wrong. Um... But, and he also knows the threat now that he's brought to his family now that the blip is over. Yeah, I, I'm wondering what's going to happen next. I'm guessing we're going to see Yelena again. I know that we're obviously going to see Maya and Kate, obviously, but... Well, I mean, this is, well, I mean, this is episode five now, so the last episode's coming out the week after, so... It's very close to the end already. Um, I wish that there were more episodes to this show, because already it's like, I'm already like so attached to it, and I love it every week, like getting ready for it and watching it. This episode was great, I loved it, and I love that it was more emotional than the last. The last one was very like, high impact in terms of the action, but also because of the fact that they were reintroducing the idea of Uncle, aka Kingpin, and Oh, just, like, the detail in this episode in terms of, like, the emotional sort of background for Clint, and even just in that last part, that fight was so well done, and just, like, you don't know who it is, and then you just see the red, like, armbands, it's, oh, so good, and just, yeah, it's just great. I love this episode so much, because also, I think the aim of, another aim of the show is going to be where Clint is coming to terms with Natasha's death properly like you know he's not gonna blame himself for what happened because obviously he does hold a lot of blame to himself for what happened because obviously there was supposed to be a sacrifice no matter who it was um and so I'm excited to sort of see that go out and be hashed out with Yelena um and sort of see how that goes especially because she's like you killed my sister oh dude there's so many details and just so good! This show is great, and whoever the writers are, Birdie and whoever it is, you guys are great. But also the emotional beats of the show, so fantastic job so far. So good, absolutely love this show, it's so, so good. And just, now I'm just like, what the heck is gonna happen next? <laughs> well, it's gonna be interesting to see the episode next week, I'm so hyped. So thank you guys so much for watching this, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Hawkeye. Absolutely enjoyed it. it. Was great pacing, great like just great work on the whole episode as a whole. Obviously, it wasn't as exciting as the last one, but this is more like obviously like doing more like sort of detective work, but also the really like not emotional parts, but it's just really sweet moments. Like especially with Kate, you know, bringing Christmas to Clint, you know, realizing that he needs that like holiday spirit because obviously he's not with his family, and then obviously spending time with him, getting to know him, and then him opening up about his past, which he never does, of course, um, and then him having to deal with the fact that he he is getting a lot of people in danger because of his role, not only as Hawkeye, but mainly as the Ronin, um, but also now as Hawkeye because of Yelena. So, it's gonna be interesting to see where this goes. <sighs> Leave your theories down below, because I'm super excited, I'm stoked. There's going to be a very emotional episode, I feel, next week. Especially if Yelena is going to be back. 
So yeah, I'm super, super excited. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Daniel out. Woo!